I'm Tanya Sukari. I'm an AFICRA ambassador based in Brooklyn, New York. Um, thank you to everyone who joined today. It's really nice to see um, a lot of familiar faces. Okay, great. So today I'm going to be speaking about um, this book on photography in Lebanon. It's a collection of stories and essays published by CAF Books and edited by Clemence Kotak Tashem and Nur Salame. Um, I came across this book a couple of years ago at the Printed Matter New York Art uh, Book Fair at MoMA PS1 here in Queens, um, where CAF Books had a booth. Um, so CAF is a publishing house based in Beirut, uh, which was founded in 2015. Um, they specialize in various art books and focus on publishing Middle Eastern artists or art practices. Um, they create their books in collaboration with the artists and the contributors, and their mission is to promote the talent of artists from the region, whether they have gained international recognition or are still emerging. So jumping into this book, um, On Photography highlights 40 contributors who share their perspectives on photography in Lebanon through essays and interviews. The book ranges from examining techniques to practices, images, histories, and artistic approaches. Um, and it includes about 380 photographs uh, produced between the end of the 19th century to the present day. So the editors have divided the essays um, into six possible angles, which you can see here. So the operator or the photographer's gaze, apparatus or mechanics of photographic practices, referent or the subject of representation, object or the body of the image, transmission or the life of the image, and finally viewer, which looks uh, at the image as memory or narrative. So in the introduction, the editors talk about how seeing is connected to power um, and the urgency to reclaim both the act of looking uh, at images um, and their multiple modes of operation, particularly in a digital world in which photography becomes diluted and, and consumed at speed. Um, they aim to cultivate a critical engagement with the related practices and conventions, making the viewer aware of the systems of representation through traditions and conventions associated with the construction of these images. Um, but they hope that this book would aim to address everyone, uh, not just those engaged in recent academic discussions around the changing nature of photography. Um, given this openness of, of topic, they chose Lebanon as, as a type of focus of location and, and collected a, a diverse range of viewpoints from the country. Um, another question they wanted this book to address was how through photography can we convey the historical, political, and social issues specific to Lebanon? And conversely, how through the specific specificities of a society and its history, its diversity, dreams, needs, sufferings, excesses, can we reflect the multiple worlds uh, that constitute photography? So a couple of things that I really enjoyed about this collection um, was their inten intentionality in displaying the images without descriptions. Um, so you only see their titles. They do this to encourage the reader to question or even interchange the images as they relate to each text. Um, in addition, they include a section of definitions of the technical terms and photographic processes mentioned in the book. Um, and as uh, a novice to the photography space myself, it really helped in, in helping me understand what I was reading. Um, it was really difficult to narrow down what I wanted to focus on uh, from this huge book uh, for this forward, but I'm just gonna highlight a couple of the essays and, and some of the accompanying images. Um, so the first is pictured here, it's called Photographing Ruins, Photography and Ruins uh, by Gregory Buchekjian. He speaks about a project um, that he undertook on photographing abandoned homes, um, capturing images of bullet riddled walls, family photos and postcards that had been left behind. Um, and he called this project Abandoned Dwellings, A History of Beirut. So in his essay, oh, whoops, he um, talks about other artists who focus on capturing the rubble or deterioration in the aftermath of war, um, either real or simulated by the photographers. Um, so here are two of the images included alongside his essay. Um, on the left, a much older image from the mid 1800s and on the, and on the right, an image of Beirut um, by Ziad Antar from 2007. So this image, um, I'm sure many of you have seen this uh, before um, or one of this, this series before. Um, it's called, um, this is one of uh, the Wonder Beirut series created by Joanna Haji Tomas and Khalil Jorej. Um, the project was inspired by the tourist postcards uh, of pre-Civil War Beirut, which the artists noticed were still on sale uh, after the war ended. Um, so the series centers on a fictional photographer who's commissioned by the tourist board uh, to make photographs of Beirut's attractions. And when the war breaks out in 1975, he goes into his archive and systematically burns his negatives to reflect the damage inflicted on the city by the war, um, creating these skewed, beautiful and heartbreaking uh, images like this one. Um, the photographers who made the Wonder Beirut series um, also have their own essay uh, in the book called The Trace of a Trace, uh, where they talk about how important it was to make images at the end of the Lebanese Civil War, um, how pressing the need was to hold on to and interrogate the traces of a city uh, marked by years of conflict and undergoing rapid reconstruction. 
Um, so this image right here um, is from an installation called the Circle of Confusion. Uh, it's a large scale aerial photograph of Beirut taken in 97 when the reconstruction um, was in full swing. The photograph is cut up into 3000 small fragments, all with the inscription Beirut does not exist on them uh, and they're stuck onto this large mirror. Um, so the viewer is invited to come and take and keep one of the fragments of the image revealing more and more of the viewer's reflection uh, behind it. And then the fragment on its own becomes incredibly abstract, abstract given the small size of it and out of the context of the work becomes really only meaningful for the person um, that has taken the fragment. Um, these are a couple more images uh, from an essay called Look, Now I'm Alive by Oliver Rowe, a, a war photographer. Um, he talks about war photography in Lebanon and in the region at large um, and, and how um, folks, photographers, news outlets use it in mass media to elicit empathy or, or tell a story. Um, and I know many of the images I've chosen to, to highlight today do happen to focus on photography around the Civil War and artists' relationship to it. Um, and so that definitely comes from a, a personal interest of mine and my own family's relationship to the country. But the book does highlight so much more of a range of subjects uh, and, and the beauty of the country as well. So I just wanted to show a couple more images from the book that I really enjoyed. Um, I just want to highlight quickly uh, on the left here, Miriam Bulos, um, uh, is her, her image is here on the left. Um, she's a photographer that I just kind of keep coming across her work over the years um, and I really admire. Um, she uses her practice to defy and, and resist forms of social and political domination and, and shed light on marginalized and misunderstood um, folks in society. Um, so definitely like look her up on Instagram. You can see some of her more current work. This is a few years ago now. Um, and if you're interested, she has a really beautiful uh, and, and haunting uh, series that was taken after the Beirut explosion that, that happened uh, last year. So if you're interested in learning more about photography in the region, I've, I've collected some, some things here um, and, and one in New York, the International Center of Photography that I like to highlight. Um, but there's a couple books here on this slide, um, also published by CAF. So there's Abandoned Dwellings, which I mentioned earlier, After Images, and Against Photography, which is an annotated history um, of the Arab Image Foundation. Um, for those of you who may not be familiar with them, the Arab Image Foundation is a nonprofit in Beirut, which collects, um, preserves, and studies photographs from the region and the Arab diaspora. Um, they have over 500,000 photographic objects and documents, and so I highly recommend checking out their website um, if you haven't heard of them before. And finally, I have to plug Afikra's new double exposure series, um, which is a partnership with Gulf Photo Plus. It's an opportunity to hear directly from photographers in and off the region. Um, there's been a couple talks already, which you can listen to on the podcast or watch online, and there will be more. Um, so definitely keep your eyes peeled on that. Um, and that's all. Thank you so much for listening today. And please feel free uh, to get in touch. Yeah,